Hey you guys, and welcome to the Jacob Hexa channel. If you're one of my negative eight returning subscribers, get ready for a spooky time. Today I'll be going over how to make these three tasty Halloween DIYs. I had a lot of fun making these super easy treats, and I hope you will too. Let's cast a spell and get into it. So first we'll start off with our syringe jello shots. Go ahead and follow the instructions on your jello packets. There will be a step where it asks you to add cold water. If you're of legal age to consume alcohol, you can add chilled liquor at this step. I bought these syringes at my local Spirit Halloween store. I filled the shot glasses with the remaining gelatin mixture. Now onto the brain berry mousse cake. You can use any cake recipe that you'd like. Carve out three shapes that will fit into your brain mold. We're going to hollow out one of the shapes, glue all the pieces together with icing, and fill the center with your favorite candy. After adhering all the layers, carve it into a shape that will allow for enough space in the mold for the mousse. Blend about six whole strawberries and filter them through a sieve to get all the seeds out. We're going to bloom two packets of flavorless gelatin over some cold water and let that sit until the gelatin is fully moistened and translucent. Add the gelatin to the berry puree and microwave until warm enough to dissolve the gelatin. We're going to whip up a cup and a half of heavy cream to the soft peak stage. Add some red food coloring, about half a cup of the berry mixture. Add the mousse to the mold and press the cake into the mousse. After allowing the cake to freeze, thaw the outside with hot water for a few seconds and turn it out into a plate. Make a Sprite gelatin mixture mixed with red food coloring and pour it over top. Next, we're going to make our Witch's Brew Mac and Cheese. This one is pretty simple. Just follow the instructions on the box and add food coloring. You can make homemade mac and cheese, but something you should know when coming to this channel is that I'm poor and the box is only a dollar. I just went ahead and put the mac and cheese into a tiny cauldron that I bought at Walmart for under a dollar. Now finally we're going to make our dead man's potion. I'm using a pitcher that I bought at Walmart. I'm using Sprite but you can use any clear soda. Add food coloring to your liking. Now we're going to add pearl dust and dry ice cubes to give that mystical, magical appearance. You can serve it with small dry ice cubes and guest drinks for a fun party trick.
And that's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe before heading out. This is the third video of Witchy Ween, so I will have one other on the way. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Johnny.